Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and for this video I'm going to be talking about Night Creatures and I must confess this is a Hammer Horror movie that I've never heard of before until Screen Factory put this out I think last month I'd never come across this movie I did look into it a bit and it's also known as Captain Clegg and I think I've heard of that title but either way this is a film that's completely gone under my radar and it was a really, really good Hammer Horror film. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. So this takes place in the uh, 18th century in like this uh, quiet, quaint little English village. And this uh, Navy captain, played by Patrick Allen, he, him and his men happen onto the island. I think they've, done, they've got cause to investigate something. And this island is uh, in the grip of this local legend of these... Uh, marsh phantoms which is these things here these skeletal ghosts that ride around on horseback and supposedly kill anyone that's out on the marshes after dark uh, as well as that there's also uh, like a subplot of the villagers sort of peddling illegal alcohol it's like in prohibition time so this village is sort of trying to supply illegal alcohol and it's kind of like do the marsh phantoms exist or not and you, you you find out as the movie goes on you can kind of see where it's going um but that really doesn't take away the enjoyment or the or the charm of this one it's a really really good film so you've got peter cushion oliver reed and michael ripper in this one michael ripper actually has a very substantial role in this which is really good to see he's, he's not just a generic innkeeper or whatever as he as he usually is so that was really good and peter cushion is absolutely wonderful as this kind of smarmy villainous pastor of the island he's absolutely fantastic in this film uh, so i always kind of regard peter cushion as the sort of moral good guy in movies but when you think about it he played some really good villains i mean the frankenstein movies he was a really good villain and he's absolutely fantastic in this one he really sort of steals the show and I had a great time watching watching him in this one uh, so the marsh phantoms themselves they don't look great but to be honest it's more just kind of the uh, the, the, the the feel and the look of this one that I found really really appealing and what I like is this 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 has like all the typical hallmarks of hammer horror that we like so much but it deals with very kind of different themes this one is very much around kind of like pirates and general school duggery uh, rather than kind of gothic castles and and horror and that kind of that kind of thing so it's a bit of a departure in theme for hammer horror but they really kept the a great sort of look and feel and atmosphere and that kind of british dignitary uh kind of aspect to this one really really good film i i'm, I'm i don't know why i've uh not heard of this one I, I feel this one should be more well regarded and a bit more well known uh amongst sort of the hammer horror movies because i i thought it was excellent uh really really good watch uh, so I'm really glad that Screen Factory have put this out and it's a really nice addition uh, from them. So if you want to watch what I think I consider is a bit of an alternative Hammer Horror, one that's a bit more obscure, I highly recommend checking out Night Creatures. It was a really, really great movie. But let me know if uh, you've seen this one, guys. Is this one that you were aware of? For some reason it eluded me. Uh, I'd be really interested to know what you guys think uh, of Night Creatures or uh, Captain Clegg. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.